Hi everybody, welcome back to another technical demo around the Quarkus application. My name is Daniel O. I'm working for Red Hat as a technical marketing major. This video is the last video of the series of how to refactor Spring Boot application to Quarkus application. So this, this video showcases how to refactor Spring Data JPA to Quarkus hybrid with Panache. If you don't have any chance to watch the first and second video how to refactor from Spring Web application to Quarkus Q template engine, but also the second video showcases uh, how to refactor uh, from Spring DI to Quarkus CDI. And then please make sure to watch that video first to uh, understand uh, how to refactor uh, all Spring Boot applications to Quarkus. And this video more focus on how to uh, refactor your lab, uh, repository layer, like a present uh, persistent layer using Quarkus, ORM, and then Panache. The Spring JPA actually enables Java developer to implement a JPA-based repository, but also quickly build application with access technology. So let's take a look at that uh, Spring Packing application here. So when you go to the VAT uh, directory and we can open up the VAT Java class here, as you can see, uh, we already specified the data relationship like a many to many or join table, and we can also define the table name. When you open the VAT repository uh, Java class, uh, you can find that how uh, this repository class showcase how to execute JPA query and it save the object to the data store. And also there are controller in Spring Boot application to map to specific endpoint like a VAT or some a post and gathering method according to your business application functionality. So let's try to run the Spring Boot application using Maven command line, like a Maven Spring dash boot colon run. It takes a few seconds to start a Spring Boot application. As you can see, uh, it took just uh, 4.3 seconds to start up. Let's open new web browser and access endpoint. And uh, as you can see, there are a few menu. And uh, specifically, when you click on uh, battery radiant, so you can see the multiple uh, the data from battery radiant. Uh, we, we already store our database in memory database. And as you can see, open uh, the database directory. And then there are HE2 memory data, uh, how to define the schema on the a table, like a create table and table name and a create index, uh, just like a normal traditional uh, database uh, capability. And also there are a data.sql file uh, in order to inject and store all the data file, like a name, just like a UC in the application presentation layer. Okay, here's the how a Spring Pet Cleaning uh, implement to JPA data capability. Let's go to Quarkus application. And the first step, as always, we're going to run Quarkus dev mode. Uh, uh, this capability allows us to change our application code. At the same time, Quarkus automatically rebuild, compile, and redeploy uh, the application. One interesting is we just need one, three seconds to start up our Quarkus application compared to Spring Boot application. So let's try to uh, open the endpoint. Uh, the web browser and the local host 8080. And when you click on the uh, battery radius menu, and then we can just on your dummy data, uh, we already created that in a second video. So let's go to uh, REST to resource file and then how we implement using a template engine, uh, using CDI bin uh, in the first video and second video. When you go to CDI bin, the VAT service Java class, as you can see, we just uh, uh, retrieve all uh, the data you, and uh, we create the uh, list of type uh, return uh, format and also HTML file we can print all uh, the data from the template engine. So when you open a uh, vet uh, the model file as you can see we print the hard code like my name is Daniel O as a first name and last name as you can see in a presentation layer when you click on a uh, vet battery data and then uh, the first step, we're going to add the Hibernate ORM Panache extension and the Quarkus, Quarkus, and then to pick it up. And also, we're going to use H2 in memory database, just like a Spring Boot application. And as you can see, we just using a Maven command line to add these two extensions on our running application. And next step, uh, we're going to open the Palm XML to make sure the necessary uh, feature is already installed at Palm XML. By default, Quarkus uh, has three profiles, although it's possible to use any major you like, but the 
uh, as default, the dev prefix activated when you uh, development mode. Just so we are using the application development for now. And you, you, as you can see, we uh, we add some following variable to set the database connection detail, like a JDBC URL uh, database credential, and then uh, how to generate the database, like a drop and create. So first of all, we're going to specify the table name, uh, also, uh, such as a vest in a database uh, that is referred by entity object. And the, when the entity uh, is annotated with the cache of annotation, or is the field value to cache the except for collection in relation to the other entities, which means the entity can be loaded quicker without querying the database for frequently accessible, rarely changing data. And then uh, we're going to add uh, the column name using column annotation. With this. You can also specify the specific uh, column name, like a first underscore name is not equivalent to the attribute name. And we can also add the not empty annotation to specify the column attribute here. Let's try it one more time for last name with a column annotation and not empty annotation. And then we're going to add many to many annotation. This is exactly the same uh, way to define by directional many to many association as the same as Spring Packling application. So we're going to define the join column like a bad underscore ID. And also the join uh, column is a specified underscore ID. And then we're going to return all related specialty related to the vet, uh, the data table, and the return code is list term format is a list type. So we're going to define the public list and the specialty and uh, the return the variable is a specialty here. Okay, so now we're going to uh, comment or uh, remove the existing uh, the dummy uh, getter setter and the list with this, uh, the static code. The Hibernate URL with the Panache automatically generate getter setter. So you don't need to worry about to create the getter setter on your the Pojo Java class any longer. So here's another specialty entity file using uh, the cacheable and uh, entity annotation just like we did uh, in a VAT Java class. In the last step, we're going to add a specialty on our HTML uh, rendered by the template could engines. So one more thing, we're going to define the vast specialty, and then we're going to extend uh, Panache entity and define entity name, bed underscore specialty, and using cache to make it faster than any other uh, to retrieve the data. And also, we're going to need to create the import.sql file to insert the data uh, just like a, uh, the Spring Boot pet cleaning application. But we don't need to actually create table because the Quarkus Hibernate ORM make that happen. So when you reload the uh, battle radiance, uh, the menu, and then you can see exactly the same result we saw in Spring pet cleaning application. So now we are run how to refactor Spring Boot application and persistent layer to Quarkus using Hibernate ORM with Panache. Thank you for watching and please make sure to subscribe my YouTube channel for the next technical demo and Quarkus tip as well. Have a good rest of the day.